Hello and welcome to this month's market report. I'm Brad Dohack with Gulf Point Properties. Have some very exciting news to share with you today about the market update. I'm going to warn you right now, right up front, we're going to be using a lot of the green dry erase marker. In my world, in most worlds, green means good and go. Uh, so what do we have here? We have year over year January results. Uh, the January stats are the latest that we have. And I want to give you the top five stats that we're monitoring and looking at in our marketplace. We're in the hardest season. We're in it right now. What is the market doing? Let me show you. So real quick, the closed sales, most important number, most important statistic up 25% year over year in Lee County, up 14% year over year in Collier County. Green means good, so we're selling more homes. The median price of homes, so this one's really interesting. Lee County is now at $270,000 for the median price of a single family home. Collier County is at 470,000, so Naples, higher priced real estate. So $200,000 more, but what's so interesting about that is Collier County actually saw a 14% increase in that uh, median sale price year over year, whereas Lee only saw a 2% raise. So that's a big discrepancy there. Time to contract. This is a big one that we've been monitoring for some time. It's actually coming down, whereas last year it was going up. So good news there. Right now in Lee County, that's 58 days from the time that you you know, list your median priced home to sell versus when it actually gets a contract. That's 13% quicker than it was last year. Collier is at 104 days and we expect it to be more because it is a higher priced market, but uh, that is right in line with where it was last year. Uh, small change there. New pending sales. These are new properties that are going under contract in Lee County. 1,514 single family homes went under con new homes went under contract. That's up 25% year over year. And look at this in Collier County, 642 new homes under contract. That is up 44% over last year. Incredible. All right. New listings, 1,000, we'll call it 1,800 in Lee County. That's down 14%. So even though it's down, there's less listings that are coming on, which means less inventory, which means that has the ability and likelihood of bringing prices up. In Collier County, new listings, 821, that's down 11% year over year. And then finally, we get to the inventory. So that's how many properties are on the market. And given the current pace of sales, if we stop bringing new ones on the market, how many months we would have before we totally ran out of inventory. In Lee County, that's at 4.7 months. And in Collier County, that's at seven months. And so right there, that's telling us that we're leaning, as we get under six months, we're leaning more into a seller's market. And that's down 28% and 26% uh, respectively over last year. So lots of green on this board. What does it mean? What does it mean for you? So let's talk about that for just a moment here. All of this green means that this is a recipe for appreciating prices. That's what that means. What doesn't show with the Florida Realtor stats is new construction. We've got to take that into account because what's happening is that new construction is supplying that inventory. We've clearly got the demand. Season is here. People are feeling good about the economy. Interest rates are incredible right now. There's a lot of positive things that are happening. And so new construction is sort of fill, backfilling that supply into the marketplace. And that's what's really holding pricing from going you know, much higher. So new people are constantly moving to the area. There's a lot of demand right now, a lot of optimism in the marketplace. And that is what is going on in the marketplace in general. So if you have any real estate related questions, Feel free to reach out, Brad Dohack, Golf Point Properties. We'll talk soon. Thanks.